Hey, everybody. So I've been thinking this morning while I'm getting ready for an audition, what if there was somebody who built furniture and he had an idea for the most elaborate, ornate, beautiful table that was ever created? And what if he decided that... He was going to dedicate that table to God. He was going to pray that everybody who sat at that table became blessed. And everybody would come to know Jesus because the creator of the table prayed over it. And he prayed to God about that. And then he sat and he waited for somebody else to come along and build the table. He sat and he waited for somebody else to come along and give him money to build the table. He sat and he waited for, poof, God to make this table appear in front of him. And it didn't happen. And he said, God, I'm building this table for you. Why have you not brought me what I need to make this happen yet? Lives are going to be changed when these families sit together around this ornate table. Why haven't you done what you promised, even though? Yeah. And then he continued to wait. Meanwhile, in his closet were all of the tools needed to build this table. Meanwhile, next door was a friend who was also skilled at building tables who could help him, where if he only went next door and asked for a little help from his friend, he could have gotten it. Also, in the drawer by his bed, there's a stash of money that he could have used to get the materials to build the table and all the skills needed to go out and make it happen. But instead of doing those things, he waited for God to do it for him and wondered why it didn't happen. Now, if you haven't caught on yet, this is a parable that I was just creating in my head about how so often we sit and we wait for God to do the work for us. Christians, I'm talking to you and me. Because I've done this before when I started a nonprofit. We sit and we say, because this has a nice message of hope, healing, salvation, whatever, people are going to make it happen. God is going to make it happen because we're doing it for Him. But sometimes He gives us the tools. He gives us the people. He gives us the ability to work and make money on our own doing something outside of film. There are so, so many things that God gives us that we could use to make these things happen. And we instead, we sit and we wait and we get frustrated and confused of why it isn't happening yet. But he gave us everything we needed to make it happen. Sometimes we're lazy. Sometimes we're egotistical and think everyone needs to follow us and um, give to what we're doing. And sometimes we just expect, well, I'm a Christian. God will do it for me. We think that when we also, on, on another note, we think that when we're making a film that God is going to fill in those blank spaces where we are inexperienced or where we have cut corners and he'll fill it in for us. God will get that. And then our product ends up being less professional than other products. Why is that? Because in the secular world, people rely on themselves. Now, we do need to rely on God, but you know what? God gave us the ability to work hard. He gave us the ability to get a good end product, to have a good end product. He gave us the ability to go out and work. And he does not advocate and never has people sitting there just waiting for him to do it for them. That has never been a thing for God. 
he he gives us everything we need and supplies it along the way. It's just that sometimes we don't want to put in the research. We don't want to put in the effort and we do a cop out and we end up with either no product or a film that is not what it could have been had we gotten up and put forth our effort and we ask God to bless it and show us how to do it right. But I can guarantee you, if you don't hear him explicitly saying, okay, Ginger, get up. I want you to curl your hair for this mom audition that you're doing for a commercial. I have enough sense in my head to know I can probably look a little more momish if I add a little curl to my hair. So I'm going to go do it. We don't have to sit and wait for every little step. He's going to nudge us if we start going off doing something totally wrong. But we pray about it and we don't hear an answer. It is okay to move a little. He gave you sense for a reason. He gave you experience for a reason. He believes that you can do it. That's why he's letting you. So go for it and don't be afraid to fail. And don't say you don't have to say, well, I guess it wasn't God's will because sometimes... Maybe it really was, or maybe he was indifferent to what you were doing, but you didn't put forth the effort. So guys, this this is honestly, it's an encouragement. Get up and start working on that ornate table. And if you mess up, it's okay. It's okay because we're learning. But what's not okay is to waste our talents waiting for someone to do it for us. Or to be lazy and say, well, God's going to fill in the blanks for me. He'll fill it in where he needs to fill it in. But let's put forth our very best effort to be the best that we can be at whatever our occupation is, not just film. So I really love you guys, and I had to share that with you as I was thinking about it this morning. Now wish me well on this mom audition thing I got going.